to a brand new video. Today we're heading on a journey with Travel Body J and um yeah we're heading to Saint Elizabeth Side. Right? Yes. She's gonna take us on her tour. So guys stay tuned for all of this. But while we're on the way, I just thought it would be good to do a few questions. I guess you guys would want to ask questions about Travel Body J. What is Travel Body J? So First of all, because I always butcher your name, <laughs> help me to pronounce it. It's Enjari. Enjari. All right. And tell me about Travel Body J. What exactly is Travel Body J? All right. So, Travel Body J is a service that caters to women who want to explore Jamaica. So, you'd want to go on your adventures, but you may not have like minded persons around, or you may not have transportation, or you may not want to drive even if you have access. is interested in booking your service where can they find you all right so now the main um i guess you would say the main platform that persons can kind of view a portfolio of what is offered and you know initiate a conversation would be instagram and that's travel by the ja on instagram i'm also on twitter and i'm on youtube but instagram instagram is where i get a lot of the traffic otherwise um you can call me i guess you put the number below or you can send me an email address at travelbodyja info at gmail.com all right so you mentioned before that this is a service for only women right why only women so um when persons kept asking me to carry them i noticed that it was most the women that's one right but also outside of this i'm a human rights advocate and an area of passion for me is women empowerment empowerment of women and girls and i know that women need a space where they, they can feel free and they can explore and you know you don't have certain inter unwanted interactions which is something that i face a lot when i go on different trips where it's a general crowd or when I go on adventure sometime, you know, I'll, I'll encounter unwanted attention. And I know women would want to go on their adventures and not have to deal with this. So I thought that it would be nice to create a space where women can, you know, feel comfortable and let loose and there's a group of women rolling. So by the time we reach to a venue or a destination, we already created a bond. So, you know, you feel safe that you're rolling mm -hmm. with your peeps and things. So right. it's kind of just like creating a safe space for women to explore you know you have persons outside of kingston maybe from montego bay maybe from negril right. or you know st mary and they want to take advantage of your service want right. to use your service do you offer the service to everybody yes the service is offered to persons island wide so in your package in our discussion we'll discuss your pick up and drop off location and that will be factored into cost so if i need to come to mobile to get you i'll factor that into cost if i need to come to wherever you are i can come or if i can't come to where you are per se say for example you live in really rural areas and the vehicle that i use is not able to manage certain roles we can have a central meeting spot Clo the closest to where you are yeah so yeah i facilitate you wherever you are okay awesome do you have a specific age group that you normally take around all right so for the shared trips i <laughs> the activities that are usually done on the shared trips 
are ideal for persons 18 years and older. So for example, um, a trip to a day trip to Appleton Estates, you have to be 18 years or older to you know indulge in the services of Appleton. So usually based on the places we're going, it's advisable 18 years and older. In terms of say for example a woman who wants to go on an adventure and she has her children that's allowed okay um, for private for private trips it's flexible if it's for example say 14 year olds and they want to it's a group of them say three 14 year olds and they want to go on a trip mm -hmm. I would have to have discussion with their parents or, or, yeah. or guardian to ensure that it's a situation where they have permission to go to these places right you understand um, but pretty flexible where age is concerned but these considerations are taken into account all right okay. let me know let the people know what to expect if they were to book you is travel body ja all right so after payment is done and it's confirmed because confirmation is after payment is done so once the date is confirmed and everything i'll then send you an itinerary so before we even go there in our discussions we're going to discuss the activities that you want to do and then i'll, I'll match the pace the places right so you have an idea of what you'll be doing but after everything is confirmed i'll send you an itinerary and a list of things that you may need. So say for example, we're going to a falls, I'll let you know that you know you need mosquito repellent, you need water shoes. So whatever the activity is, I'll give you a little guide for what to pack, mm -hmm. as well as an itinerary for you to know how the day is breaks down. Yeah. So at this time, we can expect to be doing this, or by this time, we can expect, we can expect to be at X place, or back on our way to Y place, or whatnot. All right, so I know you said that it's just women, but what if you know me and somebody's getting engaged or something, and I want to bring my little boo with me? Do you offer that as well? All right, so for the private adventures, you can you can incorporate your boo <laughs> or your children, or if it's a small family get together gathering sort of thing, you can incorporate that. So I'm open to that for the private adventures. However, when I do the shared trips, women only. So you can't book a seat for you and your boo mm -hmm. on the, the open trips. Okay. Women only. But in terms of the private adventure, because it's a private customizable experience, I understand that you may want to have the persons closest to you on these adventures and in these experiences. So I'm open to incorporating for the people. All right. So persons might normally ask about security being that it's you know all women yeah that's a question that comes up a lot actually and um while when when we travel in groups so we're on the shared and open trips there is a feeling of safety because it's a group of women traveling and you know we create the bond from the pickup point the starting point so by the time we reach the different venues by the time we reach the different venues we have created a bond so that we are looking out for each other and it's a group of women traveling so you have that layer of safety right but in terms of like the private adventures or generally the places that I go to are usually established and and most of the places I already have a relationship with maybe a tour guide at the place or you know a service provider at the place so there is that level of safety there right and then I mentioned the group of women traveling but also if on the private adventures we are going to somewhere where neither myself or the person I'm carrying is familiar with the place and we're not so sure about what the security is we may have to um, outsource additional security so I may you know um, employ the services of an off-duty police officer or soldier or security personnel 
to accompany us and we'll discuss how that looks if the person will travel in the vehicle with us or the person will meet us at the place and just be there with us throughout the experience whatever it is it's a discussion as i say uh, the entire planning of the adventure plan is a discussion so in that discussion we'll have that but there is that option to add an added layer of security in the event that we need it all right so I remember asking the question what everybody will ask you which oh, is know. pricing because this uh, sound really nice sound really exclusive and customized uh, what's pricing like yeah pricing pricing is a hard thing there are different factors that have to be um considered when pricing you know so like distance traveled time of day pick up and drop off location how many persons if it is a half hour because because the vehicle that i have on base can manage four persons but say for example it's a group of 10 persons then i would have to rent a larger vehicle you understand so i have to, that has to be factored in some so many different things have to be factored in so it really all boils down to customization and thing. but i do have starting budget rates that you know you, you can say all right with this budget i can probably get this or we can't invite 10 friends we can probably invite four because of the summer budget there or we can't do five things we only can do three because of the summer budget there you know that kind of thing okay awesome yeah Ready for this? Alright, so I got stew chicken. So I am going to do zip lining. I'm not sure how it's going to go yet, but we're going to do this. I made sure to use the bathroom just in case any pee you want to escape. 
but I'm ready. I'm getting myself ready. And I don't know if I think watching the people doing it ahead of me is encouraging me in a sense because nobody's screaming. I'm hoping that I won't scream. But like we see, I'm literally like going to cross this off my list right now of things to do. My bucket list. And I'm excited but nervous at the same time. So let's see how it goes. You so bad. <laughs> So a pro tip if you are planning to visit the YS Falls in St. Elizabeth is to dress comfortably but you know appropriately um, because most of the things there especially with the zip lining it's it's activities right and so you don't want to be zip lining and you know exposing any body parts or anything like that so just comfortably you know wear the correct shoes so you know you can climb because to get up to the top is a whole trek and um you know it would just be easier to just be in the right gears I have my helmet on, so and I got my gloves. It's really happening, guys. It's really happening. So, how are you feeling, madam? Do you really want to know? <laughs> nervous. 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 I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, all right, man. You'll make it. You will make it out. We're gonna be zipping all over that. Oh my it's in a state God. of speed right now. But as Sue says, she got this. <laughs> Prepping yourself?
let me see if I can explain what's happening here. So they they knew that I was a little bit afraid of heights, just just a little bit afraid of heights, and so they decided to pull a prank on me, you know, to to like stop me mid air and so, make me feel like there was some technical difficulties. But by the time they decided to pull this prank, I was already over the fear. So <laughs> the jokes on them. Unfortunately, the day that we went to the falls, the falls was muddy because of all the rains that they had over the week. So we weren't able to enjoy the falls, but there was a pool there. In fact, they have two pools on property. So now it's time to leave and we're going to leave YS Falls and we're going to head to another location. So stay tuned for that. That's the road that we're going to go in. And over there is where we're heading. All the way over to the Pelican Bar, and now we're just setting up those shots. We are now at the end of the vlog. So we came, we saw, we conquered, we went to YS Falls and we are now leaving the Pelican Bar which is my favorite stop out of the whole trip. And I'm happy, can you tell? Can you tell? I'm very, very, very happy. I'm glad to come out and see this. Thank you.